size of this fish, guys. Beautiful walleye. 19 and a half. What a monster. It's November 10th, 2019. Uh, we are out here today going after some walleyes and white bass again. We're going to do some jigging today. Uh, this is my time of year. It's cold. Uh, the water temperature is just getting to the right spot. It's at 43.1 degrees. It's about 39 degree air temperature. Uh, I love this weather. This is, uh, this is my fishing time. So I'm pretty excited. We got a uh, southwest, northwest wind of around five miles an hour. You can start southwest, switch to northwest, uh, which is perfect drifting wind. So uh, if you're into jigging or you want to get into jigging, uh, you want to get out in this type of wind because it, it moves the boat over with your target areas at the right speed uh, where you can still see your bait on the transducer. So uh, we're going to get out here. It's uh, I'm a little late, so it's about 8.30. Um, and we're going to see what we can do. And hopefully next time you see me, we got fish on the boat. So talk to you soon. Let me show you guys something here that I look for when I target these fish. You see I got a couple waypoints set right there and there, but I want you to pay attention uh, how subtle uh, the difference is. What you, shut this off. what you have to look for here is if you look right here, you can actually see the difference in the break. You see how the point comes out, but there's a break on the point. Look for those lateral breaks on the point, not necessarily point to the main, but the lateral break. Uh, sometimes it makes all the difference in whether you're seeing fish or not. You see your market fish already down there. So, just a word to the wise, pay attention to these lateral breaks uh, on the main lake points because sometimes that's what really holds fish. First fish of the day. Good sign. 22 foot of water. This one's going in the pond. Size five. Hot perch. Fish number two is a little heavier. That's a nice size white bass. That's what we're looking for right there. Tried a couple different colors. And the color that worked was this glow perch. They're pretty specific about what they want.
catch of the day right there. These fish are hovering so exact on a point. Even though your GPS gets you there to where you were, it doesn't hurt to have a reference point. So when we get on them again, we're gonna be chucking this buoy out there. And uh, that way we have a reference point to come back because they're hung up on about 21 to 22 foot of water. So we wanna be on that spot. my friend are a little crappie. These little crappies. Black and silver. And Alright, so we've established a pattern out here. Uh, the fish seem to be assigning themselves a certain depth, so the uh, white bass seem to be around that 20 to 22 foot range. Uh, the perch are in that 26 to 28 foot range. I caught a few crappie in 31, but what I figured out is that 36 feet and deeper is all the walleye, so we just hooked up with three walleye on that last drift. Uh, as you can see, the wind is starting to pick up out here. So uh, I'm gonna change up the pattern a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back up wind on this uh, and I'm gonna show you the map here. What I'm gonna do here, this, there's a drift I just made and I caught them all in this deep low hole. So what I'm gonna do up here is get up in this deep low hole and work this hole with the drift sock since the wind's blowing this way. Um, and then, Hopefully that pattern will work. If we catch some, we can repeat that pattern over and over. So when I'm out here on these lakes, this is basically what I'm doing is I'm trying to find a pattern. Once I establish that pattern, I work it over and over and over again until the weather or something changes that makes me have to change my pattern. So right now it's midday. Uh, it's a bluebird day, high pressure day. The fish are deep. Uh, they're right on the bottom. All the while I'm catching are right off the bottom. So uh, let's go make another drift and see what happens. Nope. Water out 
Jadi This one right off the bottom. Oh yeah, nice walleye. Nice walleye. Fourteen and a. size of this thing guys yeah. <laughs> that is a beast all right guys I realize from watching my videos that I really don't tell you exactly how I do this so I'm gonna show you the whole process here so I'm gonna start with what I look for on my fish finder uh, to how I set up to what I'm looking for on my grab so I'm gonna kind of walk you through and hopefully in this little step we can find a spot show it on a graph and hook one all in the same set without stopping the recording. So I'm gonna start with showing you the sonar. Okay, so what you see here is a map. What I wanna get to is I wanna get to this hole right here. So I'm gonna fire this up. Turn the boat so I can go right back up this line. I wanna get right to that hole there. Doesn't have to be perfect, but I just want to get to that hole. Okay. Position of boat, you see we're in 37 foot of water. We'll let it drift up a little bit. Get the boat position. Alright. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here on the graph. Let me show you here. You already see right there where we're marking fish on the bottom. You see all these suspended fish chasing minnows. So I'm going to try to, my very best, to um, drop down and show you the bait and show you the fish chasing. So check this out. And you should be able to see the bait going down to the bottom. See all the fish down there. So we're gonna get, there's our bait. We stop just shy. You see the fish already chasing the bait. See me jigging. There's a fish coming up to look at it. See if we can get one to bite. That's a heavy fish. It's a heavy fish. Ah, it's a nice crappie. Really nice crappie. He's hungry.
There we go. I'm gonna hit it on the drop. That's gotta be a walleye. Got to be a walleye. Head shakes. Big head shakes. What do we got here? Oh yeah, nice walleye. Hit it on the drop. That's a fatty. Stay hooked up. Stay hooked up. Oh, one hook just came out. Stay hooked up. Stay hooked up. Oh yeah. Oh, he just got hooked under the gill. You wanted that.
one at that. today it's about two o'clock um, we've got our limit on walleye limit on white bass and our limit on crappie so uh, it's been a really good day because I've been in a real dry spell for the last couple months and uh, I always do so remember when you have bad days out fishing that you're just paying the price for the next day to get a good day fishing appreciate you guys watching the video and again subscribe leave comments below like the video and uh, I like putting these out, so feedback's good. Thanks. See ya.